All right, today we're going to be doing some destructive testing on our newest locks. Now these have already passed all of their testing stages. Um, you know, a lot of work goes into making a tube like this. So the question comes up, do you really need to do destructive testing? And my answer is hell yeah, it's a lot of fun. So here, let's, let's see what happens. Taking our brand new locks, and one at a time, we're going to introduce them to the curb and see what happens. Two, three, four. Oh no, that was a rock. We're still good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so ten hits. Barely scratched the thing. And right, the next one. to go. Now even when this opened up and it got hit into the curve repeatedly, still no problem. This next one I'm going to do while it's still attached. I'll probably hit two at once. Ten hits, both locks. You can see it's scratched, but still working fine, still working well. No problem. Got two more. Now we would never want any of our customers to expect to do this and have it work. No one should ever, ever do this with our tube. It makes no sense. It should never do this. It was not built to handle this. And yet, it's really not very disturbed. Oh wow, that's strong. Just to be clear, there is no reason anyone should ever do this with our locks. It's not warranted for this. We don't recommend it. It's not built to stand up to this. But you can see these things are pretty darn strong.